Hi, I'm Kevin Falvey here aboard Bennington's brand spanking new 22 SLI. The S series is Bennington's value lineup, but make no mistake, with an F-115 Yamaha, we enjoyed 36 mile per hour performance and handling. Additionally, we noticed all the top construction features for which Bennington is famous, and we enjoyed loads of luxury too. Stick around and we'll show you in detail while this S series, like the 22 SLI, is expanding Bennington's appeal to a wider and wider array of boaters. Our test boat was powered by a 115 horsepower Yamaha F115 outboard, spinning a 13 and a half by 15 inch 3D bladed aluminum prop through a 2.15 to 1 reduction. Our test load was two people or 390 pounds and 20 gallons of fuel. Top speed was 36 miles per hour. Time to 20 miles per hour was 5.2 seconds. Bennington's 22 SLI is rife with luxury. And that's nowhere more apparent than here at the helm, where we have a standard fiberglass console. Costing as much as $700 aboard competing brands, this one's equipped with stainless steel gauges, stainless steel cup holders, backlit rocker switches that are wired to waterproof connectors for long-term durability. There's a standard Sony stereo with CD player and four speakers in addition to a nice windshield. Some options we enjoyed were the tilt wheel and especially this reclining helm seat. Bennington's 22 SLI is upholstered in the same supple vinyl you'll find aboard the more expensive models. It's multicolored and features nice piping. Inside, there's plenty of storage. And because the seat base is a roto molded, they're warranted for life and they won't rot. They're attractive too. There's nice scalloped edges on the outside and mounting flats for the four speakers that come standard with the Sony CD and stereo. There's a chaise lounge here at the console and another one over here. Inside, there's handy storage for gear like this fender. One of the features I really like to board the 22 SLI is this large standard platform aft. For one thing, it provides great access across the boat and that's great whether I'm at the sandbar or docking and for putting the top up and down. Additionally, it's coated with vinyl. Most pontoon boats experience mildew problems in the carpet from swimmers coming up aft and dripping onto the carpet. The vinyl stops mildew in its tracks right here. The swim ladder here is bolted to both the deck and the tube. And if you need some privacy, the changing room is as simple as flipping up the sun pad, undoing the snap, and you've got a changing room that's the same size you'll find aboard larger, more expensive boats. More evidence that the 22 SLI is built with the same attention to detail as its larger, more expensive fleet mates is found here in the fencing. Where most builders simply screw the fence to the plywood deck, Bennington bolts the fencing to the cross channels. This enables them to offer a lifetime warranty. The cross channels additionally go the full width of the boat. They don't stop short at the perimeter. If you look aft, you'll see there's stainless steel corner castings, a pricey option aboard most value line boats and the wiring that runs underneath the deck, it's run in protective conduit. In all, this boat's built to look good and stay strong for the long haul. Bennington's 22 SLI proved an impressive boat. It's a triple tune, comes with a 115 outboard, all for less than $25,000. We found lots of luxury, robust construction, and you know what? It's a lot of fun to run. In fact, I think I need another spin around the lake.